In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new project using one of the enterprise project types that we created already. To do this, we come to the project center by clicking on projects on the left hand side. Click on the projects tab. These tabs are never kind of expanded by default, they always kind of disappear like so. I've asked for a way to pin that, it'd be really nice in the past, but never happened. It's to save real estate on the screen, I'm told. However, I'm going to click projects, new project, and you can see my new HR project that we created in the video, creating enterprise project types. I click on that video, on that video, on that project, type, and then I am prompted with all of the enterprise custom fields and out of the box fields that were part of my project detail page. Let me give this a title of uh, YouTube training videos. Description I want to show the world how to manage project online configuration. There we go. Where do I want it to start? This date will actually manually update or automatically update the start date within the schedule so whenever we create a project a project schedule is created this will update the project scheduled start date it's pretty cool owner so this is who is actually owns the schedule in the system so the person that has primary rights we'll talk more about that when we get into security down the line but essentially if you leave it blank it's going to be you it could be that you're creating this for another project manager, but generally you're going to be creating it for yourself. You can change the owner after the fact. We're going to leave it blank because I want to be the project owner, aka the project manager of this project. What are the capital costs going to be? 50,000. Operational costs, perhaps 30,000. That was our custom fields that we created here. Remember the details and the basic info sections. What program do we want it to be part of? You see the defaults, major software development. We can come in here and select min major, minor, or regulatory, regulatory, internal, or compliance. I'll say this one's a compliance project. What department is it going to be a part of? Now, I don't believe we've actually added any departments in here. So it's going to say no items to display. That's when the out of the box fields, and we're going to talk about more about configuring that down the line. Essentially, the department field allows you to filter out. So if this is an HR project, people in the IT team are not going to see this project. I'm going to click Finish. Now, behind the scenes, Project Online is creating for me a project from the project schedule template that I've already associated with this project in my previous video. It is creating a project site using the project site template that we created it's initiating the project in project online and publishing it for the first time and making it available for everybody to be able to see it and now we can see the project has been completed and we can see the, the cost the baseline cost this is coming from the project schedule itself actually three billion that's a lot in fact, if I click on schedule, we should be able to see our project schedule right here. There it is. Remember, we use that Olympic schedule. There it is. It's already got the start date of 6-16-2021 that we updated. We can update that again here, and it will push out the schedule. All right, the, create, the project has been created. We can, after the fact, come in and update any of the information that we supplied. Mm -hmm. In fact, in this screen, I could have a slightly different project detail page that I could have additional information that could be updated or a selection of different pages. Sometimes what I like to do here is have a project status project detail page so that each week you can come in and status your project with some high level information and narratives. The project site should also be created at this point. We're going to come back to that later. So at this point, my project has now been created. I've specified my, my method, met, metadata. I can update that here if I like, like so. Save the project. You can see in the top right hand corner, whenever you do something, it saves it. It'll come back and say, save completed successfully. 
Once that's done, I'll be able to click close. So you complete successfully. When you first create the project, it takes a few seconds because it's kind of getting a few things going on behind the scene. I click close, and when it, it'll always ask me, do I want to check it in? Yes, I do. You always check in your project so the next person can come along and check it out. Maybe that you're working with somebody else, or the administrator wants to take a look at it. Always check it in. If you forget to check it in, it is an option later on down the line that somebody could do a force check in. And we'll talk about that in a subsequent video. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.